Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 2 and 3. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 9, 1973, in London, England. Translation Sanjaya said, O King, after looking over the army gathered by the sons of Pandu, King Duryodhana went to his teacher and began to speak the following words. So, Dhritarashtra inquired from Sanja, Kimakurva, after my sons and my brother's sons assembled together for fighting, what did they, did they do? This was the inquiry. So, uh, to encourage him, because Sandhya could understand the feelings of his master, that he wanted the fight, no compromise. Uh, Chatriya spirit, let my sons and my brother's sons fight. That is Khatriya spirit. My sons are one hundred in number, and they are only five. So suddenly my sons will come out victorious, and then the kingdom is assured. That was his plan. So Sanjaya, his secretary, could understand the feeling. Uh, of course, at last, he would inform differently. Uh, Jatra, uh, <coughs> Jogesh Sarohaji, at last, he described, My dear sir, you do not expect victory. It is not possible. Because the other side is Krishna, Jatra Jogesh Sarohaji, and the fighter, Arjun. So it is beyond your expectation of victory. <coughs> but in the beginning he says, don't be discouraged. There was no compromise. Uh, immediately your son, Duryodhan, and he is addressing himself as Raja. Uh, because Sitarashtra will be encouraged when at least he thinks of his son becoming the king. Therefore, he says, Raja. So, Dishtvatu Pandavani. Dhrujyadhan did not expect that the Pandavas would be able to accomplish military strength so nicely because they were bereft of all sources. Their kingdom was taken away, their money was used, they were sent into the forest, so many uh, tribulations. But the foolish Dhridhadhan did not know that above all there was Krishna on that side, that he could not calculate. Uh, therefore, when he saw the Pandavas are well equipped with good number of soldiers, Pandavani come, he was a little surprised. Uh, how they could gather so many soldiers? Uh, so immediately to consult the commander in chief, Dhanacharya. Dhanacharya was everyone's teacher. Acharya. Acharya means teacher. Acharya Mabhasangam. Uh, the military teacher. He was military teacher of the Pandavas also. When all of them were children, they were given under the uh, instruction of Dunacharya. Dunacharya was Brahman, but he knew the military art. Therefore, he was appointed teacher for all the boys, the Kaurava. 
So, uh, but uh, Acharya, Donacharya joined with Vidyavya. Bhishma Dev joined with Vidyavya. Uh, none of them joined with Arjuna. Because Arjuna or Maharaj Rishti was not king at that time. The financial control was not in their hands. And uh, these people, sons of Dhritarashtra, they were on the government political power. The financial control was in their hands. So they were giving enough money for maintenance. So Donacharya and Bhishma Dev, so they felt obliged. Of course, they knew everything, but externally they felt obligation. Arjuna, I am getting money from Durjadhan. So, in this point of danger, if I do not join him, he does not do well. I am getting financial maintenance. Uh, of course, Arjuna did not ask him. Arjuna was satisfied with Krishna. That's all. Uh, Krishna also divided himself uh, because it is family court. So he said, I cannot take part with anyone. And even if I take part, side of any of you, I shall not fight. Directly I shall not fight. I may be on your side or that side, but I will not fight. Uh, still Arjuna was satisfied. Uh, so Krishna enough to satisfy Arjuna that I shall not fight, but I shall become your chariot. Uh, I shall drive your chariot. Uh, so in this way, the battle was arranged, and when Dhritarashtra inquired, Kimapurvata Sangaya, what did they do? Uh, he said, So don't be disappointed. There was no compromise. Immediately, your son, after seeing the military argument of the Pandavas, he was surprised, and immediately went to uh, Dronacha. He is the commander-in-chief appointed first. What to do? Uh, Raja Vasana Mabravit. Then he began to speak uh, to inform Dronacharya. <coughs> so next verse. Translation. Oh, my teacher, behold the great army of the sons of Pandu so expertly arranged by your intelligent disciple, the son of Drupada. Uh, in Kenya, uh, this Drupa, this son of Drupa, uh, he was meant for killing Dhanasa. Drupa Maharaj was not in good terms with Dronacha. So he performed a yagda to get a son who could kill Dronacha. That son is this uh, Drupada. So Dronacha knew that Drupada Maharaj has got his son in future he would kill me. Still, when he was offered to become his disciple, to learn military art, he accepted. Yes? That means the brahmanas are so liberal. When he is coming as my disciple, never mind, he would kill me in future, that doesn't matter. But I must give him teaching. Therefore this word is used, bhīvata, 
very intelligent. He has learned the military science from you just to kill you. Bhimata, Kavasi Sena, your disciple. He has arranged. This is the point in us. So that he may be angry. This rascal has learned from me and he wants to kill me. But no. Duty is duty. After all, everyone will die. Nobody will exist. So nobody should be afraid of death. This is Vedic civilization. Death is inevitable, as sure as death. Who can avoid death? Being afraid of death, we should not deviate from our duties, real duty. That is Vedic civilization. So Duryodhana wanted to point out that this boy, your disciple, he, uh, it is fixed up that he is meant for killing you, and he has arranged nicely military plans uh, just to defeat you, uh, and he has learned this art from you, therefore he is using this word dhimata. Dhi, dhi means intelligence. Dhimat Shabda. Dhimat. Dhi means intelligence. And mat means one who possesses. Astatya matupratta. When one possesses something, in this sense, this pratta, in Sanskrit there are pratta, so matupratta. So matup, from matup it comes to mat. Sanskrit language means it is so uh, reformed that each and every word has significance. Not that uh, like your English language, beauty but beauty put. No, not like that. If you say beauty but, you must say beauty but, but no, you change. Beauty but beauty put. Why? Uh, this kind of change cannot be allowed in Sanskrit language. Uh, if the you means a, ah, just like beauty, but, then it must always mean like uh, No change. <coughs> so, vimata, v means intelligence. Uh, v means intelligence. So one who has got intelligence. Uh, every word is used with full meaning. Uh, Sanskrit language is so nice. Therefore it is called Sanskrit. Sanskrit, Sanskrita. Sanskrita means reform. And the alphabets are called Devanagari. Devanagari means these alphabets, just like in Europe, the Roman letters are used. Similarly, in the upper planetary system, these alphabets are used, Devanagari, used in the cities of the demigods. And the language is called Sanskrit, most reformed. And Sanskrit is the mother of all languages. Even in this planet, the Latin is also derived from Sanskrit. Just like the maternal, the matri sabda, paternal, titri sabda. So, dhimata. So, here the writer is bathway. So, every word is selected either in Bhagavad Gita or in Srimad Bhagavatam or the Puranas. All writings, Mahabharata, uh, each and every word is used just by weighing in the balance. Uh, there should be, uh, so many words should be in the beginning, so many words should be in the end, uh, not whimsically, they cannot be allowed. Uh, that is called Sanskrit Sahitya, literary. Uh, it's like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was hearing Kesav Kashmiri, as soon as there was little discrepancy, bhavani bhatta, 
immediately he criticized and debated. Sanskrit language is so nice. Pasaitang Pandhutrana, Acharya, my dear teacher, just see how many military soldiers are standing there on behalf of the Pandavas, and they have been arranged by your desire, who is meant for killing you. So just remember, that means you become more strong that this, this boy and the other party may not kill you. Uh, but Dujyodhan does not know that uh, death does not depend on military strength or bodily strength. Uh, when death will come, nobody can check. Death is God. 